Hey everyone, Blueberry Tech Boy here, and we're going to continue with the article, The Move to the Public Cloud, which is in the Cybertrend Magazine article. So Colm Keegan is a senior analyst for Enterprise Strategy Group, and he gives an analogy that compares the public cloud to an apartment building. And when it comes to an apartment building, it doesn't matter if it's a studio apartment or a penthouse, you're still sharing that building with other people. But there's a logical separation between you and the other people such that you still have your privacy within that apartment building. According to the article, this is a perfect analogy for what happens in a public cloud environment. In a public cloud environment, you are running applications or storage data that's on a server and that server is running a larger data center full of other customers. The cloud provider is in charge of maintaining the facility and managing the infrastructure so that you can focus on running your business. So let's think about this for a second. You're a small or medium sized business, but you have no desire to get into the data center business. Even still, you still require a solid level of processing power to run your business applications. Moving that infrastructure to the cloud would allow your business to focus on your business. Now, public cloud involves something called SLAs, also known as service level agreements. Basically, these SLAs explain what the cloud provider, also known as service provider, is responsible for. And it even details the level of service that the customer should expect to receive. So that's Cybertrend Magazine's way of explaining the public cloud in their article, The Move to the Public Cloud. Now, I'm sure there's many ways that you can explain what public cloud is. And so if you have a better way to explain it, email me at blueberrytechboy at hotmail.com. So episode four will be on the private cloud. So catch you on episode four.